What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.V. Now you guys read the title so you know what I'm making. Listen, I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make a creamy smothered chicken. Super easy. Listen, you guys can serve this over a bed of rice. You know what? It's all about that gravy, right? So once you got that, or you can serve it alongside. I really wanted to say like on top of some mashed potatoes, but listen, this is one of them easy meals where like if you live in that busy lifestyle, you come home from work, all you got to do is like prep this, get it in the oven. You know what? Go ahead, do your thing, shower, relax, and then by the time you get through doing that, you can pull this out and listen, you got dinner done. Hey, so with that being said, I'm not gonna over talk it. We finna get right into it, so let's get it. All right, let's go over the ingredients. Here, I got eight chicken thighs, you know, bone in with the skin on. Today, I'm gonna be using extra virgin olive oil. This is what I'm gonna be doing. You know, I'm gonna use this in my cast iron skillet so that we can go ahead and, you know, brown this. And then right here, we got salt and pepper. Two cups, look, this is two cups of chicken stock. We got a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. One cup of all-purpose flour. Here, we got one teaspoon of paprika. Here, this is a half a teaspoon of chili powder. Right here, we got two teaspoons of oregano. Here, we have a half a teaspoon now listen, this is up to you. You guys can use a pinch. I elected to go up to a half a teaspoon of red crushed peppers. We got two teaspoons of granulated, you know, this is granulated onion. And then we got two teaspoons. Now listen, this is two teaspoons of minced garlic. Two tablespoons of salted butter. And then here, I got one onion. This is like a, I'm gonna call this like a small onion. This is a, a yellow onion. Listen, we just gonna chop this. We gonna give this a rough chop. Okay, look, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preheat my oven. Let's see, we are gonna preheat it to 425 degrees. Now we are getting ready to prep everything. Okay, what I did was, I didn't record this part, just so you guys can see, I went ahead and chopped down that onion. You can see just these kind of slices. You know what I mean? Just, when I say rough chop, any kind of way you want to, you don't wanna do a dice, because we are gonna put this in the gravy, right? So, now, Get yourself a small bowl, and what you want to do is, you want to go ahead, and what we're going to do is we're going to add our paprika, or oregano, chili powder, and our granulated uh, onions. So, we'll just put all this in here like this. Now, I just got myself a little small whisk. We just want to get it together, you know, mix it all up. And I'm going to show you why we're going to mix it up here. Even though we're going to use it later, but we're going to use a few pinches of this in just one second. Now, after that's done, what you want to do is get yourself a large, you know, a large bowl, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and just add a couple of pieces of this chicken in here, right? And then we're just going to take our hand and we're just going to use a few pinches. We just want to season this up. Then we're going to add a couple of more. We'll season this like this. We're going to mix it around. You just want to make sure you get it coated. Then we're going to, let me go ahead and wash my hands. Now what I'm getting ready to do is, I'm gonna add a little couple of sprinkles of, a couple of dashes of this kosher salt, and then some fresh ground pepper. Now you just wanna get in here, you know, move them around, make sure that you have some on the under, you know, the under bottom of, the, uh, of your thighs. And then if you feel like you need to add some more, you can. This flavor profile, you know, and you can see, if, let me just bring it up here. Hope you guys can see that. You can see that it transfers, you know, just perfect. Sometimes, you know, we, we can over season if we don't have to, you know what I mean? We just leave it like it is. But I'm liking what I see is transferring to each piece, each individual piece, you know, nicely. I will just give it one little, and then we're gonna let this sit up just like this, right? So, it should look like that. We'll set this off to the side. Now you want to get yourself another bowl. Then you want to go ahead and add your flour and then the remainder of your seasonings, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and add some ground pepper to it also. And we're gonna give it a couple of pinches of salt. Now go ahead and get yourself a whisk or however you want to do it. 
We can do it old school. You can get yourself a bag. We can do it, you know, that old school shake and bake, however you want to do it. But you know what? I just answered a comment also. Somebody was asking me about, will it be too salty? If you like season both the flour and the, uh, the flour and your, you know, your chicken, right? But I'm gonna say, listen, if you want great tasting uh, chicken, you want the flavor to be throughout, you gotta do both, your meat and your flour. Now, got that done, right? So now, what we wanna do is we wanna take one of our pieces of chicken and we wanna get it coated, right? Once you got it coated, then we are gonna shake it off. You guys know the drill, super easy. You know what I mean? Pr pretty much, it's all the same. We just take it, shake it like this, then we put it on the sheet. Get yourself another one. And all you gotta do is, you know, repeat till this is done. You know, cause listen, we gonna cook this in our pan, right? And I, I said earlier, I was gonna be using my cast iron, but I'm not. You know what, I'm gonna use another pan. I'm gonna use an induction pan that I have that's ready to go. So what we wanna do now is, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead as you're doing this, so you can, you know, it's about multitasking, right? What we're gonna do is, we're gonna take it, we're gonna put a little bit of our olive oil in our pan and we're gonna start bringing that up to temp. All right, we just wanna get something in here, you know, enough just to coat this bottle. Cause what we're gonna do is, we're gonna sorta of like fry the chicken and then we're gonna put a lid over the top. Let me get my lid so you guys can see. Listen, we only gonna do it for about four to five minutes on each side. Now, once this comes up to temp, then we're gonna go ahead and put our chicken in here. And again, we're gonna do it four to five minutes on each side. All right, now that it is up to temp, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the skin side down. Then what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead, put our lid on the top, and we're gonna let it cook. I'm gonna set a timer for four minutes, and then we're gonna come and, you know, we're gonna look at it and see, determine if we wanna go a little longer. Now what we want to do is just go ahead and look at the bottom of it. You can see I'm going to let it go one more minute. Now, this has been a total of five minutes. What we want to do is we're just going to go ahead and flip it over. Now remember, we don't want to cook this all the way, right? We're just browning the top, getting a little bit of, you know, cook time done on it. We're gonna cover it again, and we're gonna go for another five minutes. Now, five minutes is up. What we wanna do is we're gonna take this off, put it on our, our, our baking sheet, and then we're gonna continue to do the rest of our chicken, and then we'll move over to the next step. Now, once all you got your chicken done, now you wanna go ahead and just add your onions. Then we're just gonna cook these down, maybe for about, I don't know, about three to four minutes. Now, it's been about four minutes. Look, we're gonna go ahead and add our minced garlic, but we're gonna be quick with it, right? We're only gonna move this around for about one minute. Our crushed peppers. Now we're gonna add our butter. And then once we get our butter melted, right? Then it'll be time to, you know, add that flour. Now you wanna go ahead and add a couple of tablespoons of your seasoned flour that was left over. Ah, just a little bit more. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna give it a whisk. You wanna keep it moving, right? You wanna cook down this flour taste first. So it's okay, just keep it moving. Make sure you don't see any white. This should take a, you know, just a couple of minutes. Just keep moving it like this. After we get through cooking this out, we are gonna start introducing our chicken stock. You can use chicken stock, chicken broth, whatever you guys find at your market, whatever your preference is, you know, either or. Now remember, look, the key is you gotta keep that whisk moving, right? So as the, it starts to heat up, you'll see it's starting to get lumpy. Once you got, you know, once it starts to do that, now it's time to introduce our chicken stock. So what you wanna do is you just wanna pour it in, you know, slowly, just, you know, in small increments, as you see that I'm doing there. And then once you got it, you know, incorporated, and it's starting to flow good, then you can go ahead and pour the rest of it in there. And then once it comes back up to temp, then it'll be time for you to add your heavy whipping cream. And as you see, you can look at my right arm, right there at my hand. Listen, I never stop moving with that whisk. So you just wanna keep going round and around and keep blending it. And that right there is the key to getting it creamy. So 
once that's done and you got that cooked, then you go ahead and introduce, you know, your chicken. Now, go ahead and get yourself a spoon and just start, you know, spooning some on top of your chicken. You know, so that it can just like soak in there and soak into that skin. And listen, when I tell you it's going to be moist, that's what it's going to be. Now, go ahead and add your, you know, your top. And then what you want to do is you want to put it in the oven. Listen, it's already been preheated for 425 degrees, right? And after one hour, this is what we come up with right here. Look, when I take this top off, tell me what you guys think about that there. Super easy. You can just see the, how delicious it is just the way it is right there, right? So again, I just go ahead and I get my spoon and I just start spooning some of the gravy right over the top. Now, you can use your, you can get yourself, you know, some parsley. Go ahead and dice it up real fine and then go ahead and put that on top for some garnish. You know, to add some green to it. And as you can see, look how moist that is right there. Let me show you guys. Let me get it right up close for you. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. You know what, just super easy. You can see when I cut it, how tender the chicken is. You know, listen, it got a chance to cook and be smothered in that gravy. I wanna let you know right now, I done already sampled that gravy. And listen, it's fire, folks. Hey, so listen, I'm gonna go ahead, take a bite. I didn't try the chicken. I don't need to, but here we go. You know, I already know what this is gonna taste like. Oh, man. I'm gonna just say this right now, that you guys be careful. Listen, this right here caused you to like overeat. Hey, so listen, if you're looking for a Southern comfort, you know, a Southern style, you know, meal, this is it right here. Hey, have your pillow ready, cause you might need it. It's time for night night, folks. Hey, so with that being said, hey listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you've been watching me for a minute, you know how I'm finna end this one, folks. Peace.